Wireless technology has become an important element of hearing aids as innovation has led to less wires and more connectivity. In 2010, Resound launched the first 2.4 GHz wireless hearing aid system. After a systematic analysis of prioritized user needs, careful consideration of how those needs could be met, and a rigorous investigation of possible technical solutions, we settled on 2.4 GHz and have only improved upon it since then. At first, our competitors thought we were crazy. Now they're all following suit. Another reason we chose 2.4 GHz was because our engineers knew that it was necessary if we ever wanted to connect our hearing aids directly to a smartphone. You could say that we had seen the future, because in 2014, we launched the world's first made-for-iPhone hearing aid, bringing direct streaming from an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to a hearing aid wearer. For the first time, they could take a phone call directly into their hearing aids without having to wear a neck-worn streamer or a dongle. Today, we have a full family of hearing aid styles that are made for iPhone, so patients can find the perfect fit. At Resound, our goal is to create an ecosystem of wireless tools, hearing aids that connect to smartphones, accessories, and apps that help those living with hearing loss hear in any hearing environment, even difficult environments. At the same time that we're working on best-in-class audiological solutions, we realize that hearing aid wearers often want to adjust their hearing aids for a particular environment in which they are listening. The apps that work with our hearing aids allow for a high level of personalization and what you can ultimately do with the app is definitely the wave of the future. Our app, for example, already has the ability to change the treble in the bass, change the directional beam width, adjust noise reduction and wind noise reduction, really personalizing the device for the user. Those capabilities are just going to explode in the future and we're excited to be at the forefront of that.